Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. It's been forever since I made a new mathematical video, but I've got a good one for you today. I get a lot of flack on my commentaries for putting all my sheep under the town center as soon as I collect them, and you know it's probably deserved. I just can't be bothered to micromanage them, and I'm starting to think that I'm missing out on something. I'm frequently told I should be sending in the sheep one at a time so all six shepherds can be collecting from one at a time. It's true that sheep decay once they're killed, so it makes sense that it would be ideal to eat them one at a time. I guess I just figured that with everything else going on, it's not a huge deal if there's a bit of waste from more than one decaying. The gathering rate is much faster than the decay rate anyway, so I figured the risk that I forget to send in the next sheep to the town center and have my villagers standing around for a few seconds or more feels like it would be a much bigger disaster. I'm curious though if this is something I, and all of you, should be paying attention to. So let's crunch some numbers and the answer may surprise you. So here's my experiment. I've created different gathering scenarios using six sheep and six villagers. I set the villagers to collect the food under different conditions and recorded how much total food was collected before all six sheep were used up. All food totals were divided by six so that we can talk per sheep. I'm not paying attention to the time it takes to collect since we're just looking for lost resources here and villagers always gather at the same rate. So the time taken to gather the food should actually increase if the decay rate is reduced. The reason I chose six villagers was to simulate a real game situation and six sheep to get a decent sample size and because it was convenient for the one villager per sheep trial. Okay, so shepherding scenario number one is the intentionally bad way to gather from sheep. In this trial, I took the six villagers and six sheep and sent one villager to each one. We can all agree this is the worst way to do it and you have the maximum amount of decay that's happening at any one time. Under this scenario, the six villagers gathered 346 food from the six sheep, which gives you 57.7 food from each sheep once it's averaged. Yikes, that's pretty bad. You're only getting slightly more than half the food that the sheep advertises that way. I suppose I should probably mention that sheep start off with 100 food, just in case you didn't know that. Scenario two is the noob or spirit of the law way to collect sheep. This is where you get your sheep and you just send them to the town center and you just go off and do other things. The villagers just deal with the pile of sheep automatically on their own. This one's a bit luck dependent, so I ran three trials. If you're lucky, they spend most of their time gathering from just one sheep at a time. There's probably a perfect way to arrange the sheep under the town center so the villagers collect from one at a time before moving on to the next, but it's not worth exploring for this video. For the most part, even with the sheep bunched up, the villagers were good about not having more than two dead at any one time. I was surprised that they seemed to favor collecting from already killed ones if they were nearby, ignoring closer sheep that were alive. On the three trials, we had 520 food, 499 food, and 512. So averaged together and divided by the six sheep, that's 85.1 average food for sheep, plus or minus two. Because the maximum difference in food was only around 20 in the three trials, I really didn't think it, there was much point in doing 10 trials to get a very precise number. We'll use this number for now. Moving on to scenario three, which is the correct way I am told, which is where you send one sheep at a time. This did do better than any of the bunched up sheep trials, even in the first one. There was some slight inefficiency with a villager who tried to make a break for it, but on the next trial, I accidentally forgot to send a sheep, even though that was my one job. I had one job, guys, and I couldn't even do it. Think about that. Even when it's the only thing that I have to do, I still forget to send the next sheep. Probably shouldn't have told that story, but anyway, I was reasonably satisfied that on this trial, we pretty much always had six villagers working on one sheep at a time, and I think it encapsulated the general idea of what we're going for. The 530 food that that collected ended up being 88.3 food per sheep. We'll analyze all that at the end. Scenario 4 is what I thought might be the ideal way to collect food. This is where you send one sheep at a time, but you also do what I've heard you're supposed to do and pre-kill the next sheep. This is apparently supposed to help the villagers move on to the next one rather than standing around for as long. And I also did a little bit of micro and if they weren't getting over there fast enough, I highlighted them and told them to walk over to the next sheet. I was thinking this sounds like the most professional and if you had all the microing skills in the world, you could do this along with everything else that you're doing. 
So this one where I pulled out all the stops and pre-killed the next sheep, as I've heard to do, and micromanaged villagers, they didn't stand around, somehow the average food collected actually went down. Go figure. While I'm sure micromanagement helps, it can't be too much. And pre-killing seems to just make two sheep decay for another moment, unless you're timing it absolutely perfectly. I'm sure it could be done a bit better than I did, but again, we're talking about a max of only a few food. In the grand scheme of things, unless you're at the highest level of play, it's probably not something that's worth stressing over, and not really what this video is looking at anyway. I'd kind of be interested now if, even done perfectly, if it actually makes the sheep collection more efficient. So in conclusion, well, obviously you don't want to have one gatherer on each sheet. I think we all knew that, and it's definitely been confirmed. To give credit where it's due, there is a measurable improvement in efficiency if villagers take from one sheep at a time instead of clumping the sheep together. Since 88 food per sheep is approximately the amount of food that can be gathered from sheep one at a time, and 85 food per sheep is approximately how much is gathered when all the sheep are bunched together under the town center, that's really not that bad. I was expecting worse. Using those numbers, it's around a 4% drop in efficiency, or 23 food if we assume there's 8 sheep to be gathered. That's peanuts compared to the 1400 food that has to be gathered in Dark Age to make 18 additional villagers and advance in a typical build order. I think I was expecting a more drastic difference because I didn't realize the villagers have some built-in decision-making skills about which sheep to take from next. Obviously, if the villagers occasionally mess up and end up killing 3 sheep at once, this efficiency rate is going to drop even more. I guess I'll summarize by saying thank you to those commenters who pointed out this inefficiency and giving me a good idea for a video. I will try to pay more attention to sending in one sheep at a time, but I tell you, if I keep forgetting this is really going to come back to bite me. So that'll just about do it for this video. Let me know what you think, leave a comment. You can also ask for any other mathematical questions that you might have that you want me to answer. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.